Hi there. Where am I? Greetings, puppy. I am Chester, a rat of fine standing. You are in the London Underground Station, my temporary residence until my studies are complete. Your studies? What are you going to be? A lawyer? Hmm, strange. Everyone presumes that. But, in fact, I intend to become a successful stockbroker. Work my way up out of the gutter, as it were. That's great. Say, someone told me I could get out of London through here. Any ideas? Sometimes, the new tube tunnels connect to the old underground waterways. Perhaps, if you could find those passages, they would take you where you want to go. Thanks for the info. Hello everyone, I'm Lily. We are back with 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. We are in the level The Underground, which is a level that sort of encompasses both um, like the subway station and... Um, oh shit, I can't roll through that apparently. It, cover it encompasses the subway station and the sewer. Don't really know why. We can make funny animal noises here. I don't know why this is what would come out of the information booth, but I don't know. I do not run the London Underground, so how would I even know? Maybe it's some weirdo here. Does this do anything? I'm pretty sure it's non-functional. And god damn it, I'm gonna lose or die to this fucking bear shooting a water gun at me. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's talk to the rat again. So Chester, how come some of the lights don't work? Oh, well, there were short circuits in some of the old electrical lines down here. I say, if you try to use any electrical device down here, who knows what will happen? Anything dangerous? I know for a fact that the microphones in the information booth are goofed up. But the only dangerous thing in here is the third rail. Don't touch it while it's on, or you could get hurt. I'll be careful. Thanks. Alright, so we don't have to worry about, like, trains coming through here or whatever. That's not really a factor, but that rail is electrified, but we can very easily turn it off here, and we got a sticker for that, apparently. Um, I believe Chester is the rat's name, um, and he's just going to go on and run ahead. I believe there isn't really much down here. And these shouldn't be exits. Yeah, they're just big black void walls that we can't actually enter. Uh, so that's fine. Everything else around here should be okay. Just to be safe, let's see if I can sniff anything out. Maybe dig something up while I am here. Um, but I have a feeling that I'm, I'm not... Oh, hey! We got lucky this time. Sometimes we can and sometimes we can't. It's kind of hard to judge. Um, and unless it looks like that's going to be the only one. Everything else looks like it's just... There we go. Everything else looks like it's just going to be... Uh, what's it called? Above ground. We're going to have to do this again later. But just to be safe. Yeah, see, it's just... Taking us to plot points. Thank you. Actually, I think I'm going to get that because there are more things that shoot in here. And for some reason, I am very bad at dealing with those. I don't really know why. I think I'm, I don't know, I have poor judgment when it comes to stuff like that, like projectiles and whatever. But anyway. And I always forget, actually, that that vending machine does that. Like, uh, it seems like pretty flat so it doesn't look like we can interact with it. And we actually can't, we do it from over here, but I'm like, why would that even be there? All right, and here now we have made it to the sewer. We have these fans that kind of suck actually at propelling you upward. You kind of have to jump into it and know exactly where you're going um, if you want them to actually do anything. The water in some of these areas is green, but I'm fairly certain that nothing will hurt you. Yeah, none of these are dangerous. Uh, none of the water in here. The stupid fans are in here. I don't know why. We don't need wind puzzles. They're very poorly done and don't make sense here. And now let's see if we can get up here. Very good. It helps to know 
where you are going. It seems it's the only way it'll work. Hi again, Chester. Going for a swim? I don't know. The water looks a little icky. I'm afraid I might not swim well enough. Oh, I swim through these waterways all the time. And the water is actually quite clean. I promise that the water is safe for dog paddling. Even the big whirlpool further on ahead. A whirlpool? Oh, yeah, it's great fun. But be careful of Cruella's robot toys. I saw some of them floating around down there. Okay, see you later. Right, the whirlpool. This is another level that exists in impossible space, and it's kind of stupid and annoying. I'll show what I mean by that, or we'll definitely see a little bit later. But uh, it's just, it's kind of stupid. I'm like, okay, seriously, there's, somebody couldn't have made this just a little bit better because there's absolutely, oh shit, there's absolutely no way that any of this could exist. And I, these look like they're fucking infinitely spawning. Oh, okay, there's actually nothing there. That makes this a hell of a lot easier because that was a round path and then now we can just keep going through here. And I believe we actually... Do we want to come here first? Sure, why not? We're in here already. That ship sank. And let's see if we can get the other one without... Of course not, but it doesn't matter. Alright, uh, this key looks like it will open this little... Yeah. Okay, and that's where we came from. This key should open over here. Yes, it will. To another fan and a sticker for some reason. Alright, and that is where we want to go. Sometimes if you jump into them, it's a little bit easier. Other times it seems like they don't really propel you far enough. And that gets kind of annoying, especially when you're not very good at shit jumping. Like that, or shit pushing you up to jump from, rather. You're not jump jumping on shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I think I'm tired or I ate too much today or something stupid like that, I'm sure. Anyway, we are done in this part of the sewer. This Man, this is some fucking hard- oh, never mind. I was stuck under something else. I was like, wow, I can't jump up through the water? That's kind of crazy. What's in here? Ah! <laughs> something just growling at me right away. I got a lot of bones for that. I got like, uh, five. Each level will lower. It's going to be quite pathetic if I die because I only have two hit points left. And unfortunately, I am really bad at stuff like this. All right, now I gotta really be careful. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Okay, never mind. he died. That was all I was really concerned about, but I'm probably going to die in this level, and that is really, really sad. Uh, I think I gotta rethink my whole life after that, if that happens. Hopefully I will be able to find some food along the way. It would be really- Oh! Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> it's like pathetic now how- Oh! Okay, perfect. Fine. Fine. If I keep jumping, maybe. And then barking. Very good. I don't know what that created. And, oh, at least Waddlesworth is here. And, okay. Here's the big whirlpool, but I think there's actually another way into it. Uh, we're gonna see because I actually just want to collect the bones here, but I, I'm pretty sure there's yeah It looks like there's other ways to get into it um, And we're gonna do that. I'm pretty sure that once you jump into it you just Go down the giant whirlpool And I will be sure to show the impossible space that this level exists in don't worry uh, But that will come a little bit later after we have it, it has to do with the whirlpool, so it'll um We'll show it, and it's really, like, it's gonna be, like, pretty bad either way, but if it's as exactly as I'm remembering it, it's even worse than you, you might be expecting. Here we have another more sliding, unfortunately. If you, like, mash the jump button, you can actually get back up, and it's not so bad. It, it's, 
actually quite easy um, to get back up to get back up the uh, this little water slide here. You end up like skipping kind of like a stone. Okay, I think that's it. Now we can jump in the big whirlpool. It'll take us down to a lower level. Some life. That's very nice. I never thought I would actually have to be so concerned about that. And what is that even doing? I don't know. Okay, well. Hey, Chester, where are we now? I'm not sure, but I think we might be in an old abandoned subway station from the Victorian times. What a discovery! Are we near the exit? Uh, yes, I think so. Try to turn on the lights. I'm sure it will help you find your way out. Thanks a lot, Chester. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Chester was quite excited about this Victorian era. I'm gonna bark that off good. But this Victorian era subway. Not even sure if they really had subways in Victorian times, but since I know nothing about um about British history, despite having taken a British history class, um, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I want this thing to stop shooting at me. Okay, well that's the best I'm gonna get apparently. Unfortunately, I have more of these guys. Is there another one? Are there four? Really? There's four? Oh, I should have gone to the other area first. But I think it's not going to matter very much. And oh hey, okay, I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. There was like a little pizza symbol on the side of the box as it was coming down. That's actually because if you um, play any level again, any puppy that you didn't get is actually going to be, um, can I do anything with this? Any puppy that you, um, get again or any box, any puppy that you rescued, you'll find the box again and it'll be full of food. Hey Chester, where are we now? Okay, that's the same thing that we said before. I don't know what that is doing, but I want, yeah, there's another area to explore here. I went right first instead of down. Oh. I think this one is going to be a little bit harder. Unfortunately. Oh yeah. Okay, see we go down the whirlpool. We go where we landed, we go down again. And then we are somehow at the top of the whirlpool. <laughs> like this place is so circular. And that actually is kind of how I remember it. There's no transition from here to the room with the whirlpool. There's no like um, door that we go through or anything. It's all one solid path that doesn't have any sort of loading time or anything. Um, you know, it's not like one of like the dark like areas that we go through, the dark doors or anything. So I always thought that, that was kind of stupid and really annoying. I was like, wow. This exists in such impossible space. It's ridiculous. It's worse. It's worse than the toy store. And there's something in here? No. See, where are you leading me, stupid scent trail? You're leading me back into the water where I actually can't do anything about you. And let's see if we can actually... Okay, if we stay toward the sides... Alright, it looks like we're okay. Luckily, they do give you a little bit of leeway to not have to go into the whirlpool. And yeah, so I always just thought... I was like really irritated by that. Alright, this is gonna be at the top. Let's just speed things up a bit. Okay, and don't fall. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Cancel. Go. Continue. Yeah. Sorry. That's what happens when you hold <laughs> the circle button and you walk next to Waddlesworth. Kind of jumped the gun and I didn't really need to do that. Alright, there's another one here. What am I at? 98. Alright, only two more. Hopefully 
they're not too far behind. Luckily, we did already find one. And it appears I can't sniff across water, which is really not helpful in an area like this. And it's kind of funny, I think this is the closest that we'll have to like an, like a water level. And it's really like, there's, you don't swim or anything in this game, so um, it's not even really that bad. Do you want me to ride this? That's what it appears. And now you want me to go back down. What do you want from me? Okay, I don't know what this thing wants. It's going to get really annoying. And now it wants me to go to this side. Okay. And, oh, alright. Alright, one more. Now hopefully you won't give me any stupid bullshit and I can get through this very simply. And now you're leading me across water again where I lose the trail. Because it's deciding to be very annoying and... Oh! I didn't know I could jump up there. Now there is another area that I didn't explore, so maybe it's somewhere in here? I think this is... I don't... unless this is where I came from. No, I, shit, I think this is where I came from actually. Yeah, now it wants me to go back. There is another area that I haven't explored for sniffing bones, but this isn't it because this is where I came from. I don't know why I'm jumping so much and it's not there either, which means it's at the end over here. Yes, this is where it is. This is, even though there's stuff to do in here, it's a dead end. There isn't really anything going on here. And is this number 100? Yes, it is. That is very good. We can leave once we make it. <laughs> back to the end. I do want to go this way. There's no- I keep jumping because this is the- like there's no faster way to move across the water. I can't roll across the water unfortunately. And now if we go in here, I believe this is the water tunnel that takes us back into the whirlpool. The impossible vortex that Apparently, it is not only a whirlpool, but like a dimensional rift or something. I don't know, it's very strange. Alright, and oh, I think we turned the lights on with that switch. And this little thing on the ground, we can actually... I don't know, Waddlesworth will take us throughout the level, but I haven't found a use for that, so I don't bother. And now we have made it to the exit, and so we will take on the next level in the next part. Until then, thank you very much for watching. You're all amazing and awesome people, and I will see you later.